Hi, my name's Paul. On behalf of everyone at Hammers United, wish all West Ham supporters everywhere a happy new year. David Moyes, all his staff and all the players, happy new year to you. We're all right behind you, not just Hammers United, all West Ham fans right behind you. I know you can get us out of the mess we're in. Cup run would be nice, fellas. That would be a little bit of a bonus. The fans groups now are meeting with West Ham. Uh, central to our theme is we want to see the official supporters board disbanded. We want a new board, uh, a new body put in place of West Ham fans elected by West Ham fans for West Ham fans, taking the changes up wanted by West Ham fans. We've spoken to the Football Supporters Association and they have written to the club and they are basically endorsing our proposal and offering to chair any meetings between the fans groups and the club to hopefully bring this to fruition. Central to the change we want is the heritage and the tradition that seems to have been lost over West Ham. Probably 20,000 fans either didn't go to the new stadium or have walked away since we've been there. And that to me personally it is just terrible. Most of these people are solid working class East End people. They've been following the team for decades, their mum and dad before them, their mum and dad before them. It goes back generations. The guy filming this, his granddad was at the cup final in 23. It's not, it's not on. There's room in the stadium for the new fans. I understand why the board reached out for new fans, but there's room for the old fans at all as well. And we at Hammers United, I'm sure many of you are totally with us with this, we want those fans back. And we want the club to reach out to those fans. We really need you back, everyone. A good friend of mine, young George, well, George phoned me yesterday. I've been going to West Ham with his dad for 35 years. George, obviously a lot younger, maybe 15 years. He said, Paul, I'm sorry, we don't go anymore, mate. We hate it over there. West Ham's got nothing for us anymore. It's not part of our lives anymore. But we will be with you on the protest before the Everton match. We will be there. So this protest, let's be very clear what it's about. This protest is about the board. It's about the board and nothing but the board. We are totally behind David Moyes. We're totally behind his staff. We're totally behind the players. I'm sure all West Ham supporters everywhere feel exactly the same way. Let's also make another thing clear. Thousands support us. Some will be saying that they're not happy about protest. You're entitled to your view. We respect your view but we will protest. Now this date is highly significant. We're protesting on the 18th of January, 2020. Messrs Golden Sullivan took power on the 19th of January, 2010. They have been in power exactly 10 years. Our protest is to hold them account for their failure over 10 years in particular the failure of their 10-point plan and the abject failure, the disastrous move from Upton Park to the new stadium. A move that has seen thousands upon thousands of West Ham supporters just somehow fall by the wayside. Now, some of these people, friends of mine, I went to Huddersfield with, 69. We lost 2-0, I didn't walk away. They went with me to Sunderland, it was 77, we lost 6-0. These people didn't walk away. Or Newport, 69, got knocked out of the cup at Newport, bloody county. They didn't walk away then. But they've walked away and they're continuing to walk away now. When we protest, it will be in an orderly manner, it will be within the law. There's a lot of women and children coming. I personally know two ladies that are pregnant that are coming. People, you've got to behave. We've got to show the club we mean business, but we've got to show them that we're professional. And after the protest, those that go into the match, I know, give the team their unequivocal 100% support. Now, to my personal friends, I say this, we're going to get one chance, and one chance only, to show the club that we're really serious about change. If we get the numbers there, 
They will continue to talk and I'm confident they'll talk constructively, positively and we can make things better. If no one shows up, they probably pull the talks. It's as simple as that. They're going to get one chance. So to my friends, I say this. Don't be saying it's raining, it's cold, the trains are up the creek. Don't get there late because you can't be bloody arsed to get out of the pub. You either want this or you don't want this. One thing we've always had over the years is our fan base. The team's not been good a lot of the time, but we've had the best fan base. Certainly in London, probably the whole country. The most passionate, the proudest, and probably without a doubt, the most loyal. I've always been proud to be a West Ham fan. And when my mates who support Arsenal or Tottenham come along with me sometimes, they always go back to all their mates and they say, you want to go over West Ham, they've got something over there. Their fans are special. So let's be proud again. Let's be solid again. Let's stand together again. Let's stand shoulder to shoulder. And let's say from our heart to Gold, Sullivan and Brady, we want change and we want change now. But bring it on. Come on, you answer.